Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Sorry for the lack of videos recently. I have had a lot of things going on in my personal life recently that I've had to take care of. Um, so the video side of things kind of went on the wayside. I have still been doing my run streak, so I'm currently at 159 days, I think. Um, so that has been going well and I've managed to keep that up despite things that have been going on. But I am ready to, like I said, get in back, get back into the swing of things with my videos. So today's video is going to be about run commuting and my tips for run commuting. I run four days a week run commuting, uh, either to the station or from the station back home. Um, so I have a fairly good idea of what it takes to make a run commute work. So I'm going to be sharing some of my tips with you to hopefully help some of you out that might be considering run commuting or don't know how to start run commuting. Um, hopefully this video will be helpful to you. So the first tip is to find a running backpack that works for you and make sure that it's something light. I have been running with Iron Run Box for quite a while now. You will have seen, or you may not have seen, if you haven't I will leave a link up here somewhere um, for you to check out the Iron Run Box Pro bag that I was using. I have upgraded recently to their new Iron Run Box spin bag, so this is what I'm wearing now. The I Am Run Box Pro was a 10 litre and this is an 18 litre which works out far better for me and is still manageable for um, my run commutes. I don't run commute too far so um, it's not been too bad for me and I can store more in it um, on my bike commute days. Um, but yeah, find a bag that works for you, nothing that bounces around too much, nothing that's too heavy, um, something that's going to allow you to store the things that you need for your run commute. Um, so that's the, the first tip that I've got. I'd highly recommend checking out Iron Run Box if you are looking for a run commute bag. I've been using them for years and they've been absolutely perfect so I will leave a link down below so you can check out their bags and see what they're about. And like I said I'll leave a link up here to a review video that I did on the previous Pro Bag. If anyone is interested in seeing a video, a review on the Spin Bag then let me know and I'll be sure to do that. Uh, but yeah, that is my first tip, is to find a decent bag for running. The second tip kind of ties in with the bag and it's to make your um, running bag as light as possible. So not only have you got to have a light bag, but whatever you put inside it has also got to be light. You've got to bear in mind that you're going to be running with that on your back, so you don't want to be carrying too much weight. Um, so I would recommend if you are going to have a change of work clothes, um, then maybe take them the day before or a couple of days before, have a maybe like a stockpile of work clothes that you can use for your run commute days so that you don't have to carry your clothes in your backpack with you. Um, and any other kind of essentials, anything that you might use uh, like deodorant, uh, dry shampoo, anything like that that you would usually use when you get to work, um, have them at work so you don't have to carry them in your backpack too. That kind of leads me on to my next tip, is to make sure that you have your hygiene situation sorted out. If you have showers at work, then that's perfect. Have your shampoo, conditioner or your shower gel, all that kind of stuff already at work, so that you don't have to carry it to and from home and work all the time. You can just leave it at work. Um, things like dry shampoo, if you need to use dry shampoo in your hair. Um, for those sweaty days. If you don't have showers at work then um, maybe there's a gym nearby that you can make use of. Um, if you have a gym membership to a gym that you can maybe run to the gym and then go to work straight after. Um, and push comes to shove you can always use wet wipes so baby wipes there are um, specially designed shower wipes that you can use for people I mean, people that go camping and go to festivals obviously don't um, have showers sometimes, so they make use with wipes, and that's perfectly acceptable if you don't get too sweaty or you don't uh, run too far. I only run two miles to the station and back from the station, so I don't get super sweaty on my runs, so I don't have to worry about it too much, and I have used wet wipes in the past. Um, I'll leave some of the shower wipes and stuff like that links um, down below for you to check out if that is an option for you um, and even um, just washing in the sink and having a towel on the floor and you know just kind of give yourself a quick uh, wash over uh, would probably be fine otherwise um, run commuting home rather than to work um, would work just the same if you want to get in your run commute that way 
Um, so yeah, just making sure that you have all the kind of essentials that shouldn't be carried back and forth to work, leave them at work so that you don't have to keep carrying them all the time. The next tip is to plan everything out, so um, pick the days that you are going to run. If you're going to be running home from work, pick the days that work best for you. Um, even just trying out those routes and picking different routes and finding out what works best for you route-wise. Uh, there could be a lot of traffic, a lot of traffic lights you might have to wait on. Um, you need to work out the time that it's going to take you to get to work. If you're like me and you're running from home to the station, you need to allow that time to get to the station and allow for any extra um, bits that you wouldn't necessarily um, stop for, like traffic lights and such, so that you don't miss your train. Um, I've done that once before where I've been caught out with a road closure and a pedestrian path closure and I've completely missed the train because I didn't allow myself enough time. Uh, so definitely make sure that you plan your route in advance and um, make sure that you're on time or leave even a bit of time to get to the station and you can allow yourself a bit of a cool down at the same time. So oh yeah, planning your routes and the days that you are going to be running, um, that will help with obviously making sure that you've got the stuff at work that you need at work. If you are going to leave your work clothes at work then um, you need to know what days you're going to be running or running back from work. So yeah, that's my next tip. You might not think that a run commute is viable. It might be that you think that you live too far away, but there are obviously options for that. Um, if you use public transport to get to work, for it, for instance a bus or um, trains, or even if you park and uh, run to work, then maybe you could just get off a few stops earlier on the bus, or you could get off a train stop earlier on the bus uh, for the trains or you could park further away so that you could incorporate your runs that way or you could even have it as a long run um, during the week if you didn't want to do it at the weekend instead and you could maybe get fit in a run commute day then um, so that you could get in a long run back from work and um, there's easy ways to kind of fit in your run commutes and have them work for you and the way that you want them so um, it's just about planning and uh, figuring out what is suitable for you that, that way. So they are my tips for run commuting. As I said, I've been using them for quite a while now. Um, I have been using them throughout my whole streak. I run commute four days a week. I run to the station and back from the station each and every day, um, apart from Fridays where I work from home. So uh, I think I've got uh, a pretty good schedule down and um, a plan for how I fit in my runs. And it also makes it just that much easier to actually fit in your runs if you're stuck for time. Um, then having a run commute in there can help save some time so that you don't have to run when you get back from work. Uh, so it might be a viable option to see whether you can fit in some run commutes. I really enjoy being able to run commute to and from the station. I like being able to switch up my routes and having a way to fit in with the run streak that I'm currently doing. Um, and also just for saving time. I uh, waste quite a lot of time with my commuting anyway because I commute by train for an hour. So having the, to incorporate the run commutes allows me to save a bit of time where I could otherwise just be spent relaxing at home or doing something at home rather than having to get home from work and go straight out for a run straight away. Um, so it's perfect for things like that when you're trying to save a bit of time. Um, so yeah, I would definitely check out whether run commuting is a viable option for you. Anyway, that is it for me and my tips on run commuting. If you found this video helpful, then give it a thumbs up and let me know that you liked the video. If you run commute or you have any questions on run commuting, leave those below and I will be sure to answer them. If you have any tips that you think I might have missed out, then leave them below as well for people to check out. If you have any other suggestions that you think might be helpful. Uh, but other than that, I will see you again in my next video. Bye.